Okay, question 50. I'm making the assumption that these are all going to be modeled by lines. It says determine the slope of the line you would get if you modeled each sequence listed below on a graph and connected the points. So in the case of sequence A, I'm jumping from 5 to 8, which is a plus 3, and then 8, 9, 10, 11 is a plus 3, and 11, 12, 13, 14 is a plus 3. So I can see that that has a consistent slope for those points. So this, this sequence is just... Um, says determine the slope of the line you would, well this one would have to have a slope of three right it would just be three and I could I could get this by looking at like two of the outputs so like eight minus five over that's the second term minus the first which is three over one it's just three so this first one has a slope of three the next one's uh, three plus six is nine and nine plus six is fifteen so this has a slope that is equal to 6 because I'm increasing by 6 each time. Oop, not a slope of 0. That's supposed to be a slope of 6. Uh, the next one, 26 decreased by 5 hmm, would give me 21. And then 21 decreasing by 5 would give me 16. And if I run, run that backwards to double check it, 16 plus 5 is 21 and 21 plus 5 is 26. So this one has a slope. But be careful, it's decreasing. The slope is negative 5. It's going down by 5 each time. And then the last one, uh, oh shoot, let's see, 7, 8, and then 8.5. So it's 1 and a half. And of course, I would write that as 3 halves. It is increasing. It's going up 3 over 2. Um, slope equals right and, and you know if I was just if I was to calculate the slope based on these two values right this is my zero no 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 this is sequence I would call this my first term second term this is first second this is the third term and then I would I could do 10 minus 7 in the numerator over 3 minus 1 in the denominator which does gives me it does give me 3 over 2, 3 halves. Uh, now, if I was going to find the equation that would model these, right, I remember I would have to back this up and find the zero with term. Uh, so these are all the first term because these are sequences. However, we we have talked about sequences as being... Uh, what did I do? Oh, no, the uh, they, they can be fractional outputs. But the the input values are the ordinal numbers, right? One, two, three, four, five. So anyways, that is my answer for question fifty.